Do you know that person who seems to have it all? They have a proportional body, a seductive face, well-defined muscles. They look attractive, but deep down, they never feel good enough. Well, this person might have a high predominance of the rigid character structure. In today's video, we're going to learn about the world of beautiful, proactive, agile people who are constantly striving for perfection. Hello, welcome back to our channel. Did you know the shapes of your body can review all the problems you've been going through in your life? Your body explains the emotional pains your nervous system went through since you were a child. Analyzing your body, I can tell you why you've been repeating the same patterns over and over and why you can't solve certain problems in your life. The key is in the nervous system. As it develops, we gain more movement, abilities, sensations, this process starts in our brains and descends through the spine and limbs. All the information registered in our nervous system starts getting organized into a set of characteristics that explains how our mind works. This combination of characteristics has a scientific name, character structure. In this video, we will discuss one of the five character structures the rigid character structure. This is the defense mechanism of the perfectionist people who are always improving themselves for the fear of not being chosen, the fear of being replaced or betrayed. This structure is formed during childhood and is associated with the awakening of the sexual energy. It's important to know that this energy is different from adult sexual desire and it focuses only on sensory perceptions in a new area of the body of the child. During this stage of development, around four or five years old, children start discovering their intimate parts and they realize something different is happening there. At this moment, they start looking around and see everyone has a pair. Grandma has the grandpa, the uncle has the aunt. This perception leads the child to believe that they also need to find their own pair. And the initial pair that they try to form is with a parent of the opposite sex. Girls form a pair with their father while boys form a pair with their mother. However, they may feel a sense of competition with the same sex parent. At this stage, the child also realizes that despite being told how important they are, their father or mother still goes out, interacts with other people, has different activities and commitments, and they can also form this connection with the stories that they hear about the mother or father if they're absent. Maybe this person died, abandoned the family, chose addictions, who knows? This child will feel betrayed or not chosen, and that is the core wound of the character structure. This makes the person with a rigid character structure ponder on what they need to improve or refine in order to win and be first next time. It's important for them to know what or who they were replaced with to understand what the other person has that they don't. From now on, the nervous system starts building a body and a mind for this person to avoid their pain. The nervous system builds a very competitive body and a very competitive mind in this person. The body starts changing and developing, stimulated by sexual hormones resulting in a body with greater attractiveness and sex appeal. The goal is to win. For this person, second place is a real shame. They always want to be first and be the chosen ones. Let's now explore how this character structure manifests in both the body and the mind. In interactions with women who have a predominant rigid character structure, it's very common for men to mistake their friendliness for a more open or sexual invitation. And this confusion arises because the rigid person infuses everything they do with a noticeable sexual energy and body language. Rigid treat people with such automatic courtesy that they end up seducing without even realizing it. And this is just the way they have found to exist and express themselves. 
Their smile is charming with slightly full lips and perfect teeth, evoking a desire to be kissed and admired. As we move down to the torso, the rigid person tends to have a well-defined waist and sculpted muscles. Their hips display distinct and harmonious curves. While the rigid character structure has its strengths, it also comes with its own challenges. When experiencing pain, rigids can be highly self-critical, constantly striving for perfection and the feeling of being inadequate. The fear of being replaced and the need to control consumes their energy and potentially leading to physical discomfort or pain in different areas of the body. Even though this person has a well-defined body, they often struggle with their own self-image. Despite being physically attractive, they suffer for the feeling that they are not as beautiful as they should be. This person competes without knowing who their competition is, trying to please everyone without knowing whom they are pleasing. Their focus is on not losing next time. In the context of existential triangulation, it's important to note that if you give an option to the rigid person and they don't have another possibility, they will create a second option themselves. People with a predominant rigid character are more capable of separating love from sex and they may triangulate between partners. That doesn't mean they will cheat on their partners. Another example, you hire this person to perform a service. The thought is, I'm working in this company, but if I fail, who will take my place? That's why rigids compare themselves all the time to understand that they are better or worse. When in pain, this person may experience financial difficulties because they feel inadequate or miss out on opportunities or fail to make the desired career transition out of fear of not being perfect enough in their work or projects. They may also immerse themselves in work with such intensity that they risk experiencing burnout syndrome. It's something very common for them. They try to control everything so that they remain in the most favorable position. This need consumes all of their life energy. It's impossible to control everything and everyone around them, but they do try. Rigids are so tense and controlling all the time that they may experience constant pain in areas such as the neck or lower back. This person can develop fibromyalgia as a result of the energy spent dividing themselves, running from one place to another, fighting and trying to control invisible things. The tremendous mental effort can exhaust their body and their minds. They spend a lot of energy on self-improvement and harsh self-criticism because they believe they are not good enough. While the pain of the rigid character structure lies in the existential triangulation, its resource is a huge proactivity and agility. Nobody needs to request or order anything for them to carry out a task. They already hold themselves accountable to be the best and do what has to be done. Rigids are always looking for attention because they love shining. When operating from their gifts, and superpowers. They can combine proactivity, energy, agility, competitiveness to shine brightly. In the business world, rigids are often very persuasive and well-connected and it is because they shine and they attract people, bridge gaps and they convince others. When it comes to taking action, they are very effective and proactive. What to expect and what not to expect. We can expect strength, consistency, execution from this person. They're actively striving to conquer and achieve success in their endeavors. They always need challenges. Life is bland without them. They can never stay still and they will have a hard time to rest. They believe that being idle means losing time and opportunities. They are very energetic and full of vitality and they have an aura of completeness, capability and control. However, particularly when they're in pain, they become very insecure. And this is because they're constantly fighting jealousy and the fear of losing, believing that they will really lose the other person. This person can become very jealous and insecure. 
Don't expect vulnerability, surrender, exclusive focus or quick decision making from them. They are always divided between two or more options. Rigids don't allow themselves to be vulnerable and express their fears and weaknesses. They think, what if I show you my flaws and deficiencies? What will I do when I need to compete with you? To stimulate a rigid person, you should demonstrate that they can trust and feel secure with you. Assure them that your side of the triangle is stable. This can help them spend more time using their gifts rather than being in pain. Allow them to take charge, demonstrate their competence and recognize them for their achievements. They feel very stimulated when they are recognized as being the best and they feel like they are a priority in other people's lives. How did you like learning about this structure? Did you recognize yourself as a rigid? We are a mix of five character structures with different intensities. Brazilian researchers created a method to measure the percentage of each structure in a person. After finding out your combination, you will understand what problems you've been going through and how to solve them. You will receive clear instructions on how to manage and soften your character structures in order to make better decisions in life. You can schedule your free discovery session in the link below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like it and subscribe to this channel for more fascinating insights. You can also send this video to that person that you love for them to understand how their mind works. Until next time, take care. See you soon.